If you are someone looking to try rock climbing and you don't have access to a climbing gym or crag, or if you want to have a comprehensive whole body workout that you can do anywhere, anytime, with minimal gear required, here are some exercises that you can do even before you sign up for a rock climbing session. These are really going to translate to a climbing and to improve your general fitness as well as your athletic performance so that you can climb better, feel better, and age better. Side note, some of these exercises may seem too easy for some advanced climbers. Pull-ups. Rock climbing is a very pulling strength based sport. Practicing pull ups will be helpful in rock climbing for sure, but not a crazy amount though. For those who can perform a single pull up correctly, start with scapular pull ups, hand from a bar, arms straight, back relaxed, then pull up with scapular depression, ears away from shoulders, while maintaining straight arms. Bodyweight rows, use a pair of gymnastic rings or a low bar, pull your body up until the rings or bar touch your chest. You can increase the difficulty by elevating your feet. Negative pull-ups. Get a chair or anything that helps you get to the top position of a pull-up. And then lower yourself from the top. Focus on the eccentric phase of the pull-up and repeat. And pull-ups with resistance band. Use a heavy band at first and then go for lighter bands as your pull-up strength improves. In the end, you're going to be able to do a full pull-up. Keep in mind, you could be good at pull-ups. Doesn't necessarily mean that you are good at rock climbing, vice versa. As you may or may not know, there are so many pieces going into rock climbing, pulling strength is just one of them. You should work on other skills too, as you dive deep into rock climbing world, such as grip strength, balance, flexibility, isometric strength, plyometric strength, pushing strength, the list goes on. Pull up is a great compound movement. I'm gonna make a more in-depth video about pull up as for the sets and reps, Aim for 4 to 5 sets of 8 to 12 reps. Dips. Speaking of pushing, as I mentioned in previous video, it is a very important technique in rock climbing, which many beginner climbers neglect. The more you push, the less demanding on your pulling strength, and your arms are less pumping. Also, you'll be more balanced on the climb if you know how to push to adjust the center of gravity of your body. When you perform a dip, you are pushing your body up, very much like you push yourself up at a certain point on the climb. Start practicing dip on a bench or a ledge where you can get some support from your legs. After you master this, going for resistance span dips on parallel bars, then full dips. There are some dip and pull up variations which target slightly different muscles. I'm not gonna go too deep in this video. I highly recommend mastering push ups before you actually go for dips. Dips are uneasy. Make sure you're ready first. Aim for 4 to 5 sets of 8 to 10 reps. Pistol squat and step up. Don't skip leg day. My friends, the more you use your lower body strength, the less demanding on your upper body. And it'll be good for you to stay longer and stronger on the wall. Footwork plays a very important role in rock climbing. Pistol squat and step up are compound unilateral movements, which we use a lot in climbing and our daily life. Practicing those will be a huge help with your rock climbing. And it's also a functional training to improve your balance, strength, coordination and to correct your muscular imbalance. How you progress with pistol squat? Well first, use a chair or anything that you can sit on, perform half reps and lower the ledge as you progress. Aim for full pistol squat in the end. Or you can use some sort of a support to help you perform a full pistol squat. If your flexibility is a limiting factor, then perform pistol squat on the ledge, like a bench or something. As your flexibility improved, move on to full pistol squat on the ground. As for step up, start with a low edge at height over time. Aim for 4 to 5 sets of 8 to 12 reps. Make sure to work both sides. Glute, hamstring bridge. If you have a strong hamstring and glutes, it'll be easier for you to perform a heel hook and push your body up with your heel on the climb. Glutes are a huge source of power in any sport, on which many people are weak. For more the sitting in the office or in the car, you will definitely benefit from working on those muscles. Not to mention a nice looking butt that everyone wants to have these days. Lie down on the mat on your back, bend your knees, and push your body off the ground with your heels. The more you extend your heels, the more you target your hamstring. You can also adjust the difficulties by elevating your feet. Progress to single leg bridge over time. Do 4 to 5 sets of 10 to 15 reps. Make sure to work both sides if you are doing the single leg version. Heel raise with hands overhead. A lot of times you'll find yourself standing with a tiptoe on very small footholds with hands overhead on the climb in outdoor climbing situation. So practice movement will help your climbing, for sure. You can either do static holds or reps, both of them work. Reps can help you reach stronger, holds help you stand longer on a specific spot on the climb. 
do two to four sets of 10 to 15 reps. And if you are doing holes, three to four sets of 30 to 60 seconds. Progress to single leg version once you master the two leg version. Core, no matter what sport you do, even in our daily life, core strength plays a very important role. You'll be able to move more efficiently with your limbs if you have a strong core. There's tons of core exercises out there, but let's keep it as simple as possible if you are a beginner climber. The best solution is the simplest. Plank, if you can hold this position for over 30 seconds, don't just hang out there. Is it hard? No, not really. It's comfortable. If it's comfortable, probably it's not as efficient. Then you should make it harder by moving your arms away from your torso. You should move on to the next progression. Bear crawl. As a beginner, the best way to practice rock climbing is actually go rock climbing. But like I said before, what if you don't have access to a crag or a climbing gene? Then it's very hard to train climbing coordination without those conditions. Don't worry, I got you covered. Since you can't climb on the wall, then crawl on the ground. This following exercise is from parkour slash animal flow training. Here's how you perform it. Get down on the ground on all fours. Move forward, backward, side to side, or diagonally like you would climb on a route. This is a really good exercise to train your whole body in so many ways, such as strength, coordination, balance, core. The only thing that's missing out for rock climbing in this exercise is the pulling strength. As you can see, in barrack raw, we push our body off the ground and move, whereas we put our body up and move in rock climbing. But the coordination you need is definitely worked with this exercise. And if you want to get more comprehensive, you can even do like crab walk, side monkey. These exercises may seem a bit weird to general public. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? None of your business. Seriously, what are you doing? Toad skills. By practicing these grand movements, not only do you get to climb smoother on the wall, but you also get to live a healthier life as a human. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Keep training, keep climbing, keep safe, and I promise you guys that good things are coming around. See you guys in the next one. Peace.